message. The death of Dr. Wong Yun Jie was savage and shocking, and yet all too familiar. The crisis of violence in China's healthcare system is leaving a trail of bereavement in its wake. Our parents depended on him, Wong Yun Jie's sister tells me. Dr. Wong was murdered by this man, 33 year old Lien Enqing. In 2012, he needed nasal surgery, but it left him in extreme pain. His mother shows me the things destroyed by her son during his violent rages. He's a good boy, she says. It's the doctors who are bad. In November last year, just a few days after the attack, doctors demanding better protection held a rare protest in the grounds of Wenling Hospital. Today, it's back to normal. But like all Chinese hospitals, it's still struggling with deep patient dissatisfaction over expensive treatment, long waiting times, and alleged malpractice and corruption. We find this doctor back at his desk, despite having been injured in the attack. At first, I didn't notice he had a knife, he says. I saw him following Dr. Wong. And then he stabbed him, like this, two or three times. Figures show that an average Chinese hospital now suffers one violent attack every two weeks or so. No matter how much security is ramped up, doctors fear that the breakdown in trust and the low esteem in which they are held leaves them extremely vulnerable. Lien Enqing has now been found guilty and sentenced to death. There's little comfort in that for Dr. Wong's family. He may have been killed by a patient, but the real culprit, they suggest, is a broken healthcare system and the inability of the authorities to bring the epidemic of violence under control. John Sudworth, BBC News, Wenling.